Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy. I'm back with another new video. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you guys how to turn this particular photo to something a little bit different, just like this. And I'm going to do that using Photoshop, but you can do this in any software like Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro for your videos or your photos as well, because whatever I'm going to use are basically overlays. So overlays can be used anywhere in any kind of softwares out there. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and see how to do this particular effect. Today's sponsor is Isas Video Editor, beginner friendly video editor for content creators, YouTubers, beginner filmmakers out there for editing videos in a very easy and friendly way. This particular software has tons of transitions, elements, overlays, music, etc. for your videos and it is very simple to use. If you are interested in a beginner friendly editing software then go to the link in the description and check out the software right now. So when you're opening Photoshop, this is the picture which I'm going to use. This is my profile picture basically. And these are the overlay files which is there in the link below. So just drag this one which is basically a glued paper overlay. It looks pretty cool, right? This is totally white. Now, how to make this transparent? Just go to the blending mode, change the blending mode to multiply and that is it. And if you feel that this is not enough, just duplicate this layer and you will get a much better effect. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of film grains to this particular clip. Now, I have made a lot of videos on that. The download link is there in the description as well. So drag the overlay onto the picture and then change the blending mode to multiply again. If you feel the intensity isn't enough, copy this particular layer once more and you will get a much better result. And then just adjust the opacity a little bit if you feel it is a bit too much. After that, the third thing which I'm going to use is totally my own preference. This is basically a little bit of grunge filter which I'm going to use in some of the corners of the photo just to give it a little bit added flair and then change the blending mode to anything like multiply or screen or lighten or darken whichever suits better just apply that and then just copy this particular layer and then paste it on different sides of the picture just to give it a little bit more added flair it is totally my own personal preference After that, what I'm going to use is I'm going to just use my letter overlays, which I released a video a few days back on. And I'm going to use and make it hello in this particular picture. Just to give it a little bit more interactive feel. So just go to the letter overlays pack. This is the full pack basically. Just go to here. And here I'm going to use all the PNG files of the letter hello. And then just drag and drop them onto this particular picture. Just like this. As you can see, this is H. And then after that, I'm going to do the same for all the letters out there. So basically, this is like the result. As you can see, it looks pretty cool, right? Now I'm going to just group this particular five letters into one single group and then simply reposition it just a little bit, just to add a little bit more added flair and just to keep it centralized, just like this. And make sure this particular group is just above your picture like it is below all the other overlays so that it can blend in properly with the picture overall after that if you want to add more overlays then you can absolutely use my Kodak film overlays which i released like few months back just add them here to give it a little more added flair and that is pretty much it so this is basically the result now what i basically did was i copied the glued layer once more to give it a little bit more added flair so basically this is the before and this is the after pretty crazy right and you can do this for photos or your videos as well because all the things which i've used are basically overlays and that is like a really cool thing to have because you can do this and use this in any software any nle software like premiere pro final cut pro after Effects, davinci etc and you can make your photos or your videos much better so with that being said the download links are there in the description drop a like subscribe to this channel and if you guys like this particular video please make sure to comment because i want to hear your guys thoughts on this particular videos with that being said this is pixel sammy we'll be back with another video soon peace out